All right, I'm going to continue working on the uh, bust of Henry Roman Nose. The clay is actually soft today. Yeah, a little too soft, actually. I had the light too close to it. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. I got a picture of a uh, Indian dancer. He was quite old. And uh, it was taken in 1940, the picture. But you can see, you can see he has quite a bit of de definition in his rib cage. And uh, I mean, I mean, he was strong. Uh, he could probably pull his weight in a fist fight <laughs> with somebody his size. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to uh, replicate uh, that kind of strength in this guy's uh, ribcage. Also, uh, if you notice, he doesn't have a fat belly, but he doesn't have a six-pack either. But there is indication that is there. Like I said, Native Americans weren't, in, weren't into weightlifting. No Arnold Schwarzeneggers back then. Just adding the uh, part of the shoulder blade that would show. I want to leave the edge ragged on the uh, shoulder. I know it's probably hard to see, but I've got uh, the backbone or the neck bones indicated here as well. Now, I've also plotted out the uh, center line for his uh, hair, which you can't see because my light is too strong. But I've made the center line 
that goes from the front to the back so I can have my hair evenly uh, parted. I'm just uh, establishing the hairline and his hair is rather thin and it goes behind his ear. I think you can see that I've tried to match the hairline of uh, the picture of uh, Henry Roman Nose. Yeah, his hair will come down behind his ear like that. And his hair was wrapped in what looks like otter skin, I think. I'm just not certain. It's really hard to see because photographs weren't uh, taken to give you much information. They were just taken to put on cards to sell to tourists. Well, that's all the time I have for today and uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow and I think I'll be doing his hair tomorrow so <sighs> thanks for watching my video if you liked it please like and subscribe and click the bell so you can get updates whenever I do them Whenever I sculpt, I make an update. So you can follow a piece all the way from the beginning to the end. And sometimes even to when it gets to be a bronze. I don't know if this will ever be cast into bronze. I don't know. I don't care. I'm doing it because I want to do it. It's not a commission. It's just something I wanted to do. All right, everybody, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.